Hello everyone, and thanks for stopping by this episode of Vergocity Gaming. Last time we knocked out the starting stages of our mega redstone factory. We got all of the dropper lines and all the timers installed and got the framework laid down for the building. Today it's more the same, but I have made major progress on the building and it is starting to look super, super sweet. But first, we are going to go and check out Insta and Mai's awesomely exciting new project that we've been working on in the Octagon of Doom. Let's get right into it. So after Insta finished up the construction of all of these towers here, we were brainstorming on what kind of cool things we want to do in this area. And we came up with what I think is a really, really fun and sweet idea. We are gonna create a fully immersive, story-driven adventure inside of here. We divided up the circle into eight different slices and each slice is gonna represent another chapter of the story. Each area will be its own location with its own style, such as we have started here with a little house and then a little street past it. But the twist is, each area will be its own escape room with its own challenges to figure out. We're gonna put clues and notes hidden throughout the room that will help you solve a series of puzzles. So as you enter this area, this would be the lobby right here. And once you entered through this door, the only way out would be to go forward. So you'd come in here and you'd interact with all sorts of different things. There's buttons to press, levers, different places, things to flip around. And you would complete a series of challenges and it would lead you to a final challenge. And then once you complete an area, the final clue would lead you to want to investigate a different location somewhere else. And a hidden door would pop open, which would be right there and then you would walk into the next area, which would be another chapter of the story in a new location, and this would be a new escape room with new challenges and new puzzles and things to figure out. And once you completed this one, the same thing, there'll be a note leading to a new location, and this would take you to the next location, and we're gonna do this all the way around here. We might go up and down a little bit, we might get some, mine carts or some bubble columns and some lava and it's gonna be a lot of fun so far we've just come up with the house and a little bit of the street that i just ran through there i don't want to give too much away because we want people to come through and actually do this it should be a lot of fun when it's all done and it should be slightly challenging so we're not going to give too much away but we at least want to keep tabs on what we have going on here because this is going to take up a little bit of time but it's nice to have this project also as well as the redstone factory to kind of break it up a little bit but yeah we've just thrown together a cute little room here it's supposed to be like a little cabin and then this would be the library, and Instant and I did this last night. I think this is actually looking really street, uh, really street. Yeah, it's definitely looking like a real street. A <laughs> really sweet street. So, we're going to keep chipping away at this, but let's go check out what I've been doing over here with the Redstone Factory, because I cranked out a lot of concrete and did a lot of work over here. And let's just kind of walk up to it and see what we've got going on. Look at that. We got the whole right side all done. Look at how beautiful that is. The whole front of the building is all done here. Come on now. That came out really, really, really sweet looking. We even did a little bit of the inside. And check out this freaking awesome thing that I did here. Totally working secure elevator. The doors close. We go up to the top, nice glass, you can see people riding the elevator, and up here is going to be where we're going to have, this is going to be kind of like the VIP area, I think, we'll be able to overlook the contraption and overlook all the customers down below, and then we want to go back down, we'll just hit this button, it will take us back down, do, 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 cue elevator music, do, 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 and the door's open. And the door's open. And the door's open, and we come right out. Well, I don't know why the doors didn't open there. We'll have to take a look at that. But yeah, guys, it's definitely taking shape in here. Even back here, I kind of put in some walls just to kind of start covering up. And this is basically what you're going to see out of the contraption. Everything is going to come flying out of there onto the conveyor belt, which we actually have hooked up to go the exact number of times it needs to go now so that everything that drops on that last one will end up right here 
when it finishes up and everything that drops on that one will end up right there when it finishes up so we can make sure we grab everything because we don't want to get it sucked back around again so yeah guys i'm gonna keep chipping away at this i gotta go make a lot more concrete i went through like uh, 40 stacks yesterday so we're gonna head back over to the concrete machine and get that going but man this is absolutely gorgeous guys i'm really happy with this so far this will end up being probably my biggest build on the server biggest building anyways maybe not in the scale of like the witch farm because that took a lot of clearing out of blocks but this is a lot of placing of blocks so very happy with how it's coming along so far guys gonna keep chipping away all right i was not happy with that last elevator usage there so i think i fixed it now so do 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 down the elevator elevator music is playing in the background and then ah uh -huh. <laughs> so i think i fixed it now oh no i don't even think i think i took the doors out though so wait oh god hang on all right you didn't see that yay <laughs> all right and we had something happen while we were working on this thing. Check this out. Ah! Oh my god! So if you saw a few episodes ago, you know what that is gonna mean. We're going to head down through the little oasis to the giant me that is in the background there. And man, that stupid llama spitting at me. I guess it's my own fault because I kind of smacked him. Man, it's getting really overgrown over here. But regardless, you know what that means. It's time to drop a little poop onto my pants because I just pooped them because that stupid thing. And quite honestly, I've had a whole bunch of incidents here i just don't have recordings for them so we're probably going to drop two right now so here goes one and there goes two yep there we go ah man this game gets to me sometimes all right so as you guys can see outside we are using brick in this project and this is where i get all of my brick from these are all uh, stone masons, I believe, is what their profession is. Look at this. I get 10 bricks for one emerald. So I can go to all these guys right in a row right here and fill up on bricks. And this guy. All right. And then we run right over here. And just from that little quick jaunt there, we got one, two, three, four in almost a half stacks of bricks. And look at that, these guys are ready to go again because it's the middle afternoon, so they just refreshed all their trades. So we're gonna go for one more round here. One more round, just like that. And we're gonna end up with, so we had three and a half, there's four and a half, five and a half, six stacks, just about six stacks of bricks, just like that. So not bad at all. Ah! Whoa, ho, ho. Oh man, so yep, so that just happened. I didn't die though, he didn't explode, I actually got out of the way. But that's another real quick trip over to the... See, I knew I hadn't been keeping track enough. This thing should be half filled up already. Uh, <laughs> but it's another trip over to the oh man this thing is so <laughs> crazy every time i look at it it just makes me laugh and another one uh all right well <laughs> it's not good for today anyways you guys are not seeing a whole lot of this part of the build going on because honestly i'm just doing walls and it's not the most exciting thing to watch honestly <laughs> So I'm just, uh, I figured I'd show at least a few seconds of me filling everything in here. 
And then I hop down to the next level and we just build our way up. And sometimes we can get in a nice groove and just kind of go like that and back and forth and jump in place and jump in place. And yeah, one more there. And then we drop down to the next level. Oh, God, that almost killed me. <laughs> I got to watch that. I'm getting up pretty high now, so the drops are a little bit worse than they used to be. So, and then we just go like this. And filling in the walls, and pretty soon we'll have it all done. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> We've got one of these lines hooked up. God, I hope it's right. I haven't tested it. I don't know why I do these things without testing them first. But it's going to run. This is for dispensers. It's going to run into there, which is bows. It's going to run up to the top and around into the redstone dust, which comes from up there. And it runs all the way down and over to here for the cobblestone. So all three of these things should fire out of the dispensers the proper amount. And then the conveyor belt should go. Let's see. All right. We got... Okay. Oh, they're all flying all... Oh, dear. They're all flying all over the place over here. That's not good. Huh. All right. Let's try that again. I don't really know what the heck went wrong there. I fixed a couple things. Let's see if that does anything better now. So, fire in the dispensers. Fire in that. We're still not getting the cobblestone. Everything's still flying off the edge over here. What is going on? So this is testing number three. As far as the items falling off the blocks, I'm guessing that it's because the blocks are moving where the items are still spitting out. So I put some more delay on this. So hopefully everything spits out before this starts going. And I redid the... Oh, man. The cobblestone line. Let's see. There goes that. There goes the redstone. We're still not getting the cobblestone. Okay, and they're, fire. they're just going everywhere. Rough. So they say the third time is the charm. How about the ninth time? Because that's what we're about at here in terms of trying to get this thing to fire properly. We're having some major issues. The lines weren't all firing. And then stuff was falling off of the conveyor belt. But we slowed down the conveyor belt by a tick. And that seems to have taken care of that. And we've got one of the lines hooked up. So we have the dispenser line hooked up. And we should get 32 bows, 3.5 stacks of cobblestone, and 32 redstone dust in our inventory. And it looks like we're pretty ready to go. We're just going to get rid of this one bow here. So none of that other stuff in our inventory. Okay, so we hit the button. Droppers will fire all the stuff. That looks neat. It'll all come down. It's a lot of cobblestone. It takes a long time. And then the conveyor belt will start going. Okay, everything gets carried around here. Doesn't look like a bunch of stuff is falling off. But maybe not. All right, let's see how many bows we got. So we know that one of these chests here is 27. So there's 27. 28, 29, 30, 31. 32. 32, perfectly. All right, and cobblestone. One, two, three and a half. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, yay! Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a good feeling right there. That's a very good feeling. That took a long time to get just that one thing done. All right, so we've got all of the necessary ingredients to be able to craft a whole bunch of dispensers. So let's craft a whole bunch of dispensers. Yeah, we would just have all this stuff. Crafting table would pop up. We'd find our recipe and boom, dispensers. Oh, and dispensers, you have to go one at a time and click them one and one and one, one, one. Let's see how we're doing on our progress over here with all of the steps that we needed to do. Last time we checked off terraforming and moving the villagers, and this time we actually got a lot of stuff done. Uh, materials, we're still going to collect more materials. Designing the contraption is pretty much done. We just have to hook up the wires for it. The rough building blueprint is definitely done. I think we got a nice building, actually. Building the contraption, we're still in the middle of that. Constructing the building, we're still in the middle of that. Secondary contraptions, we've taken off an elevator. 
We're going to do a couple more things and then finishing the building. And actually, we have the machine all stocked already. So we've got, if you look at this, a good chunk of the progress done. Now let's take a look at this thing. It is nighttime and it is looking super sweet at night. We added a bunch of lights there. Next up is the roof and that's going to take a lot more resources to collect. Hook up the rest of the redstone lines, finish up the floors and a couple other things there. Plus we also got a fit working in on the escape room also. So there's lots of stuff to keep us busy over here. But for now, guys, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And look at the size of this thing. It is so large. We can actually just cruise right around the whole thing. And then right down on the inside here. Look at this beauty. Look at this beautiful building. Wow. That is nice. So, yeah, this is definitely turning out to be one of my biggest projects. And I'm really, really happy with it. It's a grind, but it is so much fun. That is going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Next time, more redstone factory work and more escape room action. If you're enjoying the videos, then I'd much appreciate a sub, comment, or like. Have a great day, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.